اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Outliers. In this session, we are going to talk about outliers. At the end of this session, you should be able to understand how to identify outliers and how to identify the level of Z-score for a response that typically indicates an outlier. Outliers. Now, one of the major concerns when analyzing data is the effect of outliers, which are unusually high or low data points and they can have an impact on the overall results as well. For example, if you were asking everyday people how many cups of coffee they consume a day and most of the responses were between 0 to 4, that would be a normal spread of responses. However, if you had one participant who responded that they consumed 17 cups of coffee a day, we would consider this particular response as an outlier when compared to the rest of responses that were between 0 to 4. This is considerably away from the standard response. Now we could assume this participant has either a caffeine problem or they have incorrectly entered their response. Either way, this response will increase the mean for the particular sample without being representative of the average coffee drinker. Now, once you add this 17 with existing data, this is going to increase the mean manifold and which will not be a true depiction of the responses of the majority of the respondents. Now, there are a number of ways that you can use to assess the outliers statistically. Now, check for descriptive statistics, check for minimum and maximum values. Now, we are going to look into each of these ways in SPSS. Now check for histogram graph the data using a box plot or bar graph and visually identify the outliers. Participant responses to any variable can be transformed to a z-score which is the basic transformation allowing you to compare responses across cases to a standardized response which has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. So what you can do is you can transform the participants' responses to a Z-score and that can obviously highlight the outliers as well. And if your Z-score is greater than 3.3 plus or minus, it can be considered as an outlier. Now, normally if you find outliers, you can do two things. Uh, include them in your final analysis if you consider them not forged or non-spurious or you can remove them if the outliers have occurred for false or bogus reasons. Now, if the outliers don't make sense in the context of the question or are extreme without any potential justification, it's always a good idea that these responses shall be removed. However, if you find the responses that make sense, and are only slightly over the z-score of 3.3, then you can keep them. Now again, what to do with them? Now there are several options. You can ignore them if they are not affecting your responses or your data a great deal. You can trim them. This involves removing the outliers from the data set and this is appropriate if the outliers are due to errors in the data entry measurement. Now for this, if you are doing survey-based analysis, a good idea is go back to the field questionnaire in hard form or maybe if you have imported them, maybe you have made a mistake while doing something, just double check your original data. Now transform the data and this is by taking the log of the data and it can reduce the impact of outliers. So you can do mathematical transformation. Now, otherwise you can do replacement of the outliers by identifying the fifth and ninth percentile score. So if there is an outlier, replace it with a fifth or 95th or 95th percentile score. Now it is very important to carefully consider the appropriateness of each approach as removing or ignoring outliers can sometimes distort the analysis and lead to incorrect conclusion. Now what we are going to do is we are going to identify the outliers using SPSS now.
Now we are going to assess outliers in SPSS. Now the first easiest way is go to analyze, descriptive statistics, let's go to frequencies and let's say I'm interested in this particular variable, vision one. So select it, add it here, go to statistics, select minimum, maximum, press continue, press OK. Now here, if you look here, minimum is 1, maximum is 16. Now this is an outlier. Now there are outliers here because the values are going beyond the maximum limit, which is 7. So look at this. There is a number 14 in here. The frequency is 1, number 16, and the frequency is 1. So it shows that there are two observations that actually are not within the range. So how do you find those observations? Just go to edit, find, and let's say the first one was, if I'm not wrong, 14, and it was in vision one, select it, find next, and it will give you that particular cell highlighted. Now here it is, it is case number two. So you can go to your original data set, or if you've got collected, or if you've got data in hard form just go to the response number two and see what the value was and you can simply change it here now the other way is go to analyze descriptive statistics explore let's say vision one and now i'm going to use statistics outliers press continue and simply press ok now we are going to use box plot. So if you look here, there is a star here and there are the two observation one and two. Now they are far away from the range, the lower range and the upper range. And there is a star next to them. This means these are extreme outliers, number one and observation number two. Now again, you can go back to them here, observation number one, case number one case number two you can directly go from here go to case as well let's say case number two and go and now on you are on case number two now this is the issue here again go back to original data source or the questionnaire if collected in hard form and see if it was 14 or 4. Now moving on what you can next do is again go to analyze descriptive statistics and have standardized values for your variable let's say i want you can do multiple as well i'm just doing one for sake of example save standardized values as variables select it press ok and now you've got standardized values so go back here go to the end and here it is now what you can do is just right click you can sort it and these first two values are outliers because they are way over 3.3. Now you can either delete these two responses. If you've got good enough data, the size of the data is good enough, you can delete them or you can replace them through by having the five or 95 percentile score or you can simply delete them and do serial mean or the linear interpolation. So these are different methods that one can use and replace the outliers. Thank you very much.